Hello everybody, welcome to Mafia 3, the latest installment of the Mafia series, based in New York City. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting copyrighted on this. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go, what he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Welcome to the game. Oh, it's got a lot of story. <laughs> a couple of years after he was born, his mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Okay, actual gameplay is about to happen. That's what's going to happen. Um, I have played this fairly recently, I'd say. The graphics are looking awful <laughs> right now. <laughs> We need to fix that. I still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not Look like at this. this. is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're going to haul out of there. Skeletta. we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Okay. Okay, we've got some pop-ups here. Cool, cool, cool. We have to sort out these graphics because that is embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. We're back. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, not sure what happened with the cutscene there. The In fact, Rebels I do know. Get the, hell out of here. the settings were wrong. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm doing all sorts here. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He regrets his part to make it look good. If you got doubts, why take the chance? <laughs> Sorry, bud. We've got to leave you here. Another thing I'll do real quick is I'll turn on the subtitles. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. How do we... 
How do we get in the armor truck, my dude? Okay, we just go out here. The controls feel weird. There we go. We're able to run now, though, at least. How do we get in? X. Nice. So they've mimicked the Mafia 1. I like that about the Mafia games, that they, um... Like, the vehicles never just start. Sometimes they do, but a lot of the time there's a little, like, difficulty in starting them. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, but not like he'll be able to spend it. The feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use them to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp and the MP stops her and tells her, You can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus. Fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better than one delicious fucking pig. Um, already, yeah, there's a lot happening on the screen, to be honest. Like, the subtitles are massive. The map seems maybe bigger. I don't know. Guards at the reserve probably won't oh my be God, too dude, keen talking on him walking around here. with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. I've got um, driving on simulation as well. I'm not sure what that means for cops and stuff. Um... But this game does look a bit... Out, he's worth fuck. I want to say worse than the first Mafia, but... The first Mafia that's been remastered, of course. Not worse than the first Mafia, but... Back it up to the loading dock. Also, never know when to talk. These fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language, and well, I ain't like I never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. Uh, yeah, it is, man. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. If he says that word, I'm, I'm a pop him. I swear. He's getting, he's getting shot. All right, so still the sh some of the hot, that's graphics aren't. All right. Feel like there's something wrong with them, but where are we going, bud? Oh, <laughs> ah, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. The Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. I guess these vehicles are, like, tracked, right? Because otherwise, surely you'd just stop on the way and fill it with something else, right? You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out.
Buying rooms down in the cellar. This Go way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. But ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die. Look at me hitting you with this bag. Blah. Blah. Sorry. Imagine that, like, triggered him and... Then... That man starts shooting at me. Be playing with each other back there. <laughs> Fuck you! Also, he said Skeletto. Skeletta. That's you someone's name from that Mafia 2, right? That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. He's here, and he gets sent to Dallas, and he comes back. And it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Do we just throw them in here, then? I've played this game, like, recently. Like, I've actually still got videos on my channel, which I'll probably get rid of, to be honest. On the table there. Just so we can Never start fresh. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy. Oh. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> there's loads of people here, isn't there? I don't know how this would work. Take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Thank you, game. You know that house we've been renting out? Called over there last night. Told them to sell it. He told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's. Huh? Uh oh. That was close. Look at this. Nicky, Easy peasy. Here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Come on, come on. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. I play Skeletor. That's that's what I'm thinking. Holy fucking shit! It's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. <laughs> Once these boys punch you with that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. Alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. Oh, yeah. We got this. Okay, we do have a weapon though, right? Just this. And this. Uh, menu, hold. Yeah, I've, already, I've actually already realized that. Oh wow, these are these people are a lot more like invincible than the other mafias. Where's the other guy at? Wait, poke your little head up, bro. Where are these where is everyone? Get around this asshole! Nice. Dead. Oh, the weapon, the, the recoil is amazing. I heard them coming in from somewhere else. 
get to you unless he goes through. Let's get those cocksuckers. Wait. Jeez, that guy needed to die fast. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, poke your head, bro. This guy, this guy's survived since the start, I'm pretty sure. There you go. Okay, thank you. I was... Goddamn, we shall kick the harness nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. Oh, nice. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. So apparently this game is, um... Oh, you can only, you can't carry as many weapons as you could in the previous ones. Um, Give me that damn thing. Apparently, this game's like twenty. I want to say like twenty-three hours long. Uh, okay, we're just gonna guess. We're gonna guess. Uh, but there we go. Um, versus again the other mafias, which have been less than fifteen hours. So it should be fun. It's so weird that you can't carry that many. Smoke. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Will I? This boy starting something. Pound the fuck. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Uh, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. We've skipped a little bit here. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You can take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Thanks, man. Also, with this game being like 23 hours long, I will be focusing just on the main story, okay? No side missions and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm late. I'll save that I for like live streams, perhaps? Bridge. I don't know. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 How was the trip? Me as how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> we still robbing the belt? No. Do we just do we just get done robbing the belt then? The, why do I keep saying belt? The vault. Okay. Am I setting here? That was a really so horrible one. Right. Ever since voice. we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. I might turn that mirror at the top off, it's a little bit not needed. 
<laughs> oh my god, this game. The, dri I, I, the driving in it is not the best. But, like all the Mafias, it takes a little bit of getting used to, I think. I wonder how many police there are. Let's just see what happens with police now. Oh, the police will attack you if you commit crimes, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws in the range of their awareness. Oh. You remember Marty no, they won't. <laughs> I've got it on simulated driving as well. So after you shipped out, started selling weed, they call and ask me if I want something. I say, show. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man. I think, fuck it. It's your car. Bash it up all you want. Damn it. I don't want to back it up. Anyhow, like I was saying, shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. No way Sal's going to go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kitty. See if this police car does anything. Come on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way hmm. split. <sighs> we need to sort know. that. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. Going over the bow, you bow. Is that how you say it? Bow, bow. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you the back door. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot Look about that back door thing. Out in front of the train station. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clayhorn. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> then they fight. Okay, I thought they hated each other. Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Good to see you! You're so good. <laughs> nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I He's the guy that was talking prayers. right at the beginning. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> Now who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out and every fear every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you and there's no escape from any of it and then one day a door opens and you're free to go just like that the thing is you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. 
one way or another. Man, that whiskey's going hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. What's in the basement? Look how cool I walk. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, the basement. Why am I gonna? Okay, there there might be something here we don't need to see. Okay, cool. They're not as obs obscene as the other ones. There's something else here as well. Cool. Some collectibles. Who <laughs> won't be spending too much time on those, I, I think. What's that noise? Oh, it's it's his it's his head. Okay, so I don't I, I can't work out like the chapters in this game. Um, I just tried to search up to see what they're like, and I was, I I figured it'd be like the other mafia games where it flashes up on screen like chapter one, chapter two. It's not quite like that. So we'll do our best to try and finish have two nickels to together. Now we a story. Have food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? Not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to... Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. Oh, more stacking boxes. Patience. How serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Gone. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. And I'm proud of him for that. Most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's that's something in this back room. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. One sec, there's some free stuff here. I can't I can't resist it. Oh, sorry, bud. Hello, sir. What can I get for you, sir? Oh wow, it's even worse than I thought. <laughs> Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir.
Warm meal, warm heart. Oh. Oh, yes, great. This. Oh, I have to actually press to surf it. Sorry, sorry, but I. Um. Yeah. So, I don't want to talk too much about how I'm going to play the game. But I'm just going to be winging it a little bit, to be honest. So I might end up ending between chapters and not really knowing. You know, I think it's called Go Down on Their Own. This is what it says in the top left. But honestly, this feels like a side mission. But it's a main mission. It's a fucking shit show. It's going to be hard to stay on it. Alright, I've served everyone now. Oh, you want some as well? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest uh -oh. of me. Uh-oh. It's back, guys. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Rajid. We're done with you, Lincoln. Wait, what? L and Y. Motherfuckers over here! This one's not as um, forward. This is just sudden. Very sudden. Ha! I got a gun, boy. Let's go. What's that mean? Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Oh, Tell me shit. What's really going on? Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians... It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. Bayou, that's how you say it. They built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. it away from here it's my dad just letting me get in this much no trouble sense tipping anybody off or we could sweep the hollow track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers then we wouldn't have to worry about it the last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other do this quiet away from here once we eliminate whoever's running the show the rest of them will go down on their own trust me all right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. I don't know what that means. Wow. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. 
I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. What is going on with these? Oh, these graphics look a bit terrible then. I'm looking forward after this episode of I'll um swim really slowly apparently. I'll restart the game and stuff and it hopefully will look a bit better than it does now. Or we might be stuck with this. But one thing I found with the last Mafia game when I thought it looked bad is you like learn to <laughs> like get used to it, I guess. How do I climb why? How many men we send in? Two teams. One's gonna hit the bar. The other's going after Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get to Sammy, we're doing it. Ain't stop until that old man's dead. Him, Sorry, it's reading in silence. And the other one, Lincoln Clay. He's the one. Papa leg by open the gate for me. Atibon. Sorry, mate, you gotta die. Guy coming this way. So there's a way you can like throw rocks and stuff as well. Maybe we'll learn how to do that. Oh my god, I almost went for him then. Is he coming down here? Ah, if he's coming down here, there's a problem. He's not coming down here. Okay, that's not a problem. Good go now. Princess. Searching? Searching for what? We don't need to worry about the bodies, I guess. I don't think people are coming about. I don't really know where we go. Oh, we're finding Baka. I guess he's not in here. Oh, but we need to go down here. No, we don't. There's crocodiles in this game as well. Oh my god, I just remembered that. Yeah. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Uh, whistle to draw enemies away and thin out the group. I think the boss was worried Sammy didn't bother Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. Just do it now? Huh? Huh? What did you say, man? Well, why is he coming over here? That guy's still facing us. Why? His, we can see him. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he definitely saw us, but I, it, I don't mind that. No, you don't. Oh my god, he almost shot. He... Oh. It's still quiet. There's no action music playing. There's no action music playing. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> Oh, I hit, hit someone left. It doesn't feel right because there's no, like, music playing, I guess. There's a guy at the top there. Oh, it's, it's an AR. I didn't realize that. Is he dead? He's dead. Oh, there's a guy here as well. Dead? Are you dead, bud? Yeah, cool. Thank you. This feels so weird because there's, there's no music. <laughs> Normally there's like... Duh, 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 duh. I don't see that guy because of smoke. Oh, get out of there. Gonna grab some... Some of this... Christ. We ain't stopping till we find you, bruh. Queen 
must have scared that bitch off. Might be able to do this again in silence. What the hell? That's cool, if so. Why not? I kind of dig this. Uh oh. We saw him here, right? Saw something suspicious. We ain't stop until we find you. Oh shoot. He's gone. Uh oh. Oh, I need to take this guy out. <laughs> so we know our boys in this church, right? Oh shoot. There we go. Okay, now we can go to this guy and complete the objective. <laughs> These games are a bit like that, right? But I don't want to say buggy, but Fuck you. You made a big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. You can't take a stone. You fucking pig! Damn you to hell! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me! I killed you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over. <laughs> we'll guard you now, girl. This is never going to be over. Pajam! <laughs> Fucking Haitians. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, fire. That's my least favorite thing. Uh. Is there another way out? Yeah. No. No, there isn't. Maybe we can get at the top. No, nope. we have to go out that one entrance. It doesn't seem very... Where, where did he keep her locked up then? And that little thing there? Just people just firing in here. Maybe they maybe they were only going to throw one, one fire. Don't worry, we've got an automatic here. A lot of ARs, not gonna lie. Uh, I thought I could. That's oh, here. You die as well. Keeps killing us. Keeps killing us. Yep, that's the plan, boys. 
these guys are on the floor. Can they get back up? Like, do I have to just make sure they're dead or? Oh, he froze in a funny way. It's just this way. Shortcut it a little bit here. Jeez, he knew exactly where I was going to be. People shooting from like every direction. And I don't know where any of them are. I can hear, but I can't see. Oh, there's one down there. So about four shots at a reasonable range will kill a dude. Whoa! open worldy this is I feel free oh my god no <laughs> okay I gotta not be oh no yeah I'm being taken from everywhere oh my god you gotta die I made it messy. Okay, I gotta be sensible. I, I, you know, otherwise I'll just die and have to restart every time. How far is there to go? I'm right there. There, stab him. Where? He can't hit me from here. We ain't your people. <laughs> Oh shoot. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm about to die, that's why it's telling me this. About fucking time. Can I get in? What are you doing? Can I get in? Let's go, Ellis. Alright, sweet. We even left the guy alive. Driving an explosives. Drop explosives. Okay. Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. I was gonna say, I thought sandwich. I killed him. I can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. Fuck it, it's your car. Oh. Bash it up all you want. <laughs> I love repetitive lines. I like it. Anyway, can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. <laughs> Man, this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out of the way, things will calm down. Go back to how they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Whoa! <laughs> Actually skid it out. Come on. There we go. Like throwing... Uh, I, I swear we got to finish that robbery mission, but... I must just be imagining things. Again, like I say, I played the game fairly recently, but... Well, recently then... I think maybe when it come out? Two years ago? Three years ago? I don't know. No. Oh my god. Time. Well, actually... Definitely more than two years ago. That's what you call a park. Get back, Get back here. Oh, I could have just parked in here, right? I see. The thing Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if 
there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. No, it's family. Any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the way. Sooner or later, I'll pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we going to do about Marcano? Damn, he's got damn money one way or the other. Lottery going to be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks. Yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Here's Puppy. And is that where I'm gonna leave it? Yes, that is where I'm gonna leave it. Wow. What a game so far. Um, it's a bit mishmashy all over the place. The thing that I have noticed with the last two playthroughs is I tend to learn the story while I'm editing them. So, but I've got it so far. Come back from Nam. Um, the bank robbery is happening in the future from now. It's not happening in whatever year we're in right now. Can we see if we go to like the journal? Will it tell us what we've done so far? Um, view archives. Here we go. No, not really. Not, maybe I could read that though. That would probably be a good, uh, cause like there's also, there's like a way you can replay chapters and stuff. Yeah. Look, load check. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Do I save the game here though? Just for, no, doesn't, doesn't let me do that. I don't know. I, I'll learn. I'll learn. There's a there's a kill list. Oh my god. There's so much more to this game than any of the other ones, obviously. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna try and average about an hour an episode, and then I'll have to work it out after what checkpoints I've done, where I'm at. I don't know how far into the game I even am right now. I don't know if I've done one checkpoint or three checkpoints. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.